iOS 17 is the most recent version of iOS, the operating system designed to run on iPhones. iOS 17, which was previewed in June, is now in beta testing and will be released in September alongside new iPhones. There are new capabilities for phone, FaceTime, and messages, as well as minor changes to other applications and a whole new journaling app that will be available later this year. Apple prioritized communication and redesigned the phone app. You may now design personalized contact posters that people view when you call them. You can select a photo or a memoji, as well as a font, font color, and other options. Contact posters can be seen in both the phone app and third-party apps. On Tuesday, September 12th, Apple will host an iPhone-focused event, and the new iPhones are expected to be unveiled on Friday, September 22nd. If Apple continues to deliver new iOS versions two days before new iPhones, we could see iOS 17 launch on Wednesday, September 20th iOS 17 is only compatible with the iPhone XR, iPhone XS and beyond, hence it no longer supports the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, or iPhone X. These devices might run iOS 16. There are a few other minor changes to various iPhone features that don't fit well into any of the categories. iOS 17 offers a number of accessibility features, such as personal voice for those who are losing their ability to speak and assistive access for a more user-friendly iOS interface. Sensitive photos and movies that contain nudity can be blurred before you receive them with sensitive content warnings in iOS 17, ensuring you don't receive images that contain unwanted nudity. For enhanced autocorrection, iOS 17 has updated machine learning technologies, Predictions are improving, and autocorrect is learning more about your patterns as you use it. In addition to spelling suggestions, autocorrect can provide grammar suggestions. Tapping on the spacebar now allows you to use inline predictions to finish words instead of reaching up and tapping to insert a word, and it can also finish entire sentences. When autocorrected words are mended, the iPhone and iPad highlight them so you can see what's changed, and you can return to what you initially typed with a short tap. Apple upgrades its built-in apps with each iOS version, and iOS 17 is no exception. Almost every stock iOS app has new functionality, from phone and messages to photos, notes, and reminders. Later this year, the Music app will offer collaborative playlists, which will allow your friends and family to add to, reorganize, and delete music from a playlist. The tool allows all participants to use emoji to react to songs. So, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more tech news updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.